Hey, what is going on, guys? The LS2076 here, and I'm wearing you a CSGO video. Um, I'm going to put some um, gameplay in the background for now, just to, uh, because I'm going to be talking a lot. I'm, this game right here, we actually did get completely destroyed. Uh, we had this guy right here. These four are my friends. Uh, this guy was really being toxic, I guess you could say, so we ended up kicking him right after this round, and we ended up doing, um, we might kick him at half, but we ended up winning a couple, but as you can see, I had a huge impact, so we're gonna start from here, and I'm gonna let it play out, because I want to talk to you guys about some things, and let me know what you guys think. So, as you can see on the screen right now is my Twitch layout, which I really should start streaming more, I may, I'll get around to that uh, later in the video, but um, at the top, in the top left hand corner you guys see it says ELG. That is our um oh, let me get um myself. It's not me. Um Did we kick is that guy gone? No, that guy's still here. Okay. So I might lower the audio real quick just for this video while I talk about it. So ELG, anyway, is our clan our CSGO team and I watch a lot of professional CSGO and obviously anyone who does anything wants to be the best they could possibly be at what they're doing whether it be sports school or in this case gaming everyone wants to be the best they can be players who play sports like I play hockey in my off time I would I'd love to be a pro hockey player same thing goes with CS. I'd love to be a professional gamer, like play CS. Obviously, you need a lot of dedication, you need a lot of skill, and it's all about practice. But I'm trying to get my team to play more like a team. We need roles is kind of what we're missing right now. We have a few people with their roles, and I watch a lot of professional CS to try to get my skills up to a high enough level where we could compete. Right now, I'm at the MG2 level, which shockingly and currently is the highest in our group. I'm going to go over the group and our clan as a general, just to get ourselves, I guess, formatted in your guys' eyes. But basically, there's we, we have more than five people who we play with, so our main five is kind of kind of iffy, but Four of the people that are in the game right now, MeSpec, or MilSpec, I always say MeSpec because I think the L's and I. MilSpec, myself, Carrie, please, and Meatclaw. And I really don't think they mind me saying their real names, but I'll just leave it at that for now. And I'll talk, they'll see the video, and then I'll, next video I'll explain more. But anyway, um, let's go into roles. Every professional CSGO team, if you guys know CSGO teams, has an opper, about two riflers, a support player, and an in-game leader. All these roles are really important in a counter No, There's no role that's less important than the others. All of them have a really important role. Wow. That guy walked right past me. I didn't even... Oh. It's fun rewatching games. I haven't rewatched this game in a while, but there's an insane shot I do hit later on that I'm probably gonna orgasm again about. But um anyway. We'll talk about everyone's roles and then mine. But there's a lot of roles that aren't established yet, which is I think one of our serious problems, and I'm gonna talk about who I think would be good in each role. And then we'll go from there. So First on this team is Milspec. I feel if it's not me, he should be our in-game leader. He's very knowledgeable about the game. He knows what he's doing. He's, in my personal opinion, even though I am a higher rank than him, I believe he's the best player in our group. He's very skilled. We, like everyone, even the pros, get bullshitted. There's all these different things that happen. But... I'm really got to work on my reaction time too. But I believe he would be a great in-game leader. He's always saying how we don't we don't really play like a team sometimes. We
kind of play for ourselves, which is true. A lot of times I even do it. I play for myself. I try to do the best that I can. But in a professional Counter-Strike game, you can't play for yourself unless, of course, you're in a 1v-something situation. But even then, you got to be thinking about the team. Should you save your weapon into the next round so you can full buy? Uh, this is one of the clutches that we're trying to kick him. The other team is trying to kick Mr. Isn't that the guy on our team? What the fuck? Why does it say? Oh, yep. There he goes. So... Anyway, so I believe he'd be a really ga in game leader calling strats, and it's up to us to listen to him and just trust his judgment to be able to play at the level we can play at. And I do believe that we could play at a higher level than when we're currently playing at. I'm, I'm now to the next one. I'm gonna skip myself, which I'm just Ellis right now. Usually, when I change my name, Ellis is somewhere in there but sometimes you'll know when the videos come out so I'm gonna skip down to carry please um in most games not counting nuke me like see it's weird like our best map together was probably we were the at the beginning when we first started out as a team we were the ones holding a site together we were b best known for holding inferno together on b site we were great at doing it but I'm getting into too much it's not like we're already established as a professional team so, anyway, his role, in my personal opinion, is secondary opper. Or primary opper. But I do believe he's a good secondary opper role. What I do believe he would fill in is because secondary opper is in a technical role, but a lot of CT teams run a double op setup, and personally, we do it almost all the time, even on T side, which I think we should start getting away from a little bit. But, um, actually, I'm in a 1v3 here. So, what I think he'd be really good at is probably a, um, that guy was typing, that's why you can, I think he'd be a very good, I think entry fragger or support role. He's very quick on the out, and usually what we used to do is we used to run, um, we used to give him, he used to be our tank in the first round, we'd give him tech 9, we'd give him, he'd buy armor, and we'd let him entry. And he was good at it. He still is. We don't do it as much, because now I'm usually, I was the one that gave him the tech 9, and everyone else buys armor. I've become the support player in pistol rounds, where I don't buy armor, I'll usually have the kit and a grenade, and in T-side I'll have a molly and some flashes, and I'll use, most of the time, if I have a spawn for it, I'll entry. But this is the round that I hit the insane shot. So I think he'd be a very good entry fragger role when he's not opping, obviously. But the T side, usually I'm the only opper. Unless, of course, an important thing is knowing you have to be confident in yourself, but you also have to know. You have to know when you're doing bad. Like, if I'm having a bad game, I'll be like, okay, you take over the op, I'm going to rifle for now. And not really switch roles, but I'm going to play my rifle role. Now, we'll skip down to Meat Claw. Meat Claw, very good rifler. If his internet wasn't... He needs to get better internet, he's going to upgrade soon. But he's a very good rifler. He's insane with an SG, and I wish he used it more. But I... I was getting fucking thrashed there. I did this 15 HP. I do believe he should use it more. And I even see some pros starting to use it, honestly. Alright, I'm going to stop here because this is the insane shot I hit. I went to go flash, and I fucked up from defusing the bomb. I was full flash there. That was I was like, oh my god, oh my god, what the fuck, I got him? My team was going crazy. And you can see me as I shake my screen. Anyway, he's a really good rifler, and he plays... Right now, I, I'm. if we were in a real professional match or a real close match, he plays really smart, but he plays a little too carefree because we do get tilted a lot when we start doing bad or going down. And like in this game, we do make a little. We're starting to make a little bit of a comeback, but I um I do believe he's our main rifler. I do believe he's our main rifler, and I don't know. I think he'd be a good lurker. Rifle lurk. Maybe. Maybe support player. I'll pick it up on someone else's point of view. 
Um, so yeah, rifle or lurker, but he's re really good in situations when we need him to be. When we need him to step up and his internet is good, he steps up really well. Um, so, our fifth is usually always different. This is kind of like our main four, but our fifth, I'll, well, we don't really know where our fifth is. It rotates between a bunch of different players. Sometimes we don't even play with these four. So, we, I, I think another main problem is we need a solid fifth player as well. Um, moving ahead to myself, I consider myself in the opera role. I love playing the opera role. I love using the op. I um, I consider myself a very decent opper. Um, I do try to take the in-game leader role, and it's hard because sometimes, like, our problem is we don't listen enough to each other to be able to, like, perform good in these types in those types of situations. But. I do consider myself in the main opera role, and um, my I, I'm gonna do a little bit more on this. My strength and weakness with my CS:GO is I think my strength is in my let's go into opping. My strength, in my opping is my no scopes. I I hit some really weird no scopes sometimes. Like the shots are like insane, and my weakness. Is I think I miss the easy shots too much. I'll hit these these weird ass flicks or these weird ass no scopes. The target could be standing still, and I'm lining up the shot, and I'll fucking still miss it. And I really need to work on that as well as my reflexes. And I'm trying to watch a lot of pro players play, watch their positioning. It obviously it won't help my reflex and everything, but I'm about to get fucking destroyed here. So that's one thing I really need to work on. Um. As a team, as a strength and a weakness, a uh, weakness is we we kind of give up too quickly. I mean, we could be down 6 nothing. We could lose all hope for the game when we really shouldn't. I mean, it could be down to the end. I even get mad. Another thing is, when someone dies, you're supposed to give a call out as quick as possible where the person is. But we don't do that. We usually like, oh, fuck, dude. I can't believe that hit shot hit me. Oh, by the way, there's one going through mid. It's we. I'm. I'm gonna try to work on that as well. Um, a team's strength. Strength is, I think, how we all do get along, and we're all friends before we start really playing. Well, we all met through Counter Strike. None of us, in this game at least, know each other in real life. There's only two people that know each other in real life. But yeah, I think as a team, ELG can really. I think we can get to a higher level than we are at. Um, we have talked about playing higher level, but as MGs, which is our neutral rank of this team, the four here, we have three MG ones, and I'm at MG two. Um, before the update happened, where like the rank system got changed, um, we had two an LE and LEM, uh, and a DMG and an MG with the team that was here, but. I'm looking forward to being able to... Like, some of these shots, I don't get to scout sometimes either. Oh, all these players are really lit. I should have used... If I knew how lit all the guys were... Like, that's another thing. We don't have the callouts to know how lit everyone was. Like, I need another easy shot I missed, and why I shouldn't be missing. In this situation, I could have completely got this. Especially if I knew if they were lit. Like, if I knew this guy was lit, I wouldn't fucking peek it like I'm going to. But that guy, they had a beautiful crossfire setup. But, anyway. That is what I have to say about ELG. Uh, we do have a lot of way to work. By the way, ELG for us, since I should have probably mentioned that, stands for Effortless Gaming, and I really hope for us to be, I mean, everyone's dream is to become professional, and it'd be awesome if we did. So, if you guys want to watch some, if you guys want me to record some full-length games, let me know, and I really hope you guys sat through all the way to this video. If you did, I thank you, and I really appreciate you guys 
watching this and supporting anything. Um, I will start trying to stream more. I'm just so busy, especially basically working two jobs and everything. It's not 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 a lot of time. Not it's, it's difficult, just not a lot of time. But thank you guys much so much for watching, and I'm Alice, guys, and I'm signing out. Peace, guys.